Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and we've had some crazy leaks. There's been so many leaks, which of course is a good thing, you know, uh, more shoes, more competition, super duper excited. There's a good amount of hoop shoes coming out in the next couple months, right? So first of all, which is super low key, but also a really, really nice signature shoe line is the Anta GH5, which was just leaked a couple days ago. So of course, Anta is a Chinese company, but they have amazing shoes, guys. So the Kai one, really, really nice, right? Also the Zap, I'm looking over there because that's where the shoes are. Uh, also the Zap one is super duper nice, which is Dante DiVincenzo's signature shoe. So Ky Kyrie Irving, the Zap ones, of course. We got Clay Thompson and also Gordon Hayward. The GH4 was an absolute banger. A very, very low key shoe. Very slept on, very underrated, right? But also this shoe looks pretty dang nice. Uh, as far as the outsole goes, we have this crazy like, it looks like a just zigzag lines, I guess. And uh, inside the zigzag lines, we got more lines. So uh, that's pretty cool. And also it does remind me a little bit of the Zap ones where it's using kind of like that smear traction pattern a little bit, you know, especially with the really thick, uh, big grooves. But also another thing that I really like is it looks like it's using carbon fiber, the carbon fiber plate. I'm not sure if it's full length or just a mid foot chain plate, but yeah, the traction is probably gonna be pretty good. You know, Anta or I, I, at least like Chinese companies in general, they actually do R and D and give like they want to give us a good rubber compound. So most of the time, they have really good bite, really good grip. You know, which I feel like a lot of you know American companies don't do. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, there's the outsole there. And, uh, one thing I don't like, however, is how freaking caged it is. You know what I mean? So it's probably using N2 foam. I believe the GH4, GH4 is right here. I, I believe it was using N2 foam as well, like full length N2 foam, like Zap ones using it, the Kai ones using it, the KTs are using it, you know? So it's probably using that, but look at how freaking caged it is. You know what I mean? Like the entire lateral side uh, of the shoe is hella caged. And even in the heel, which I don't like, you know, it like kind of protrudes out. I do like the overall shape of it, you know? It'll, it'll be good for heel to toe transition. We can see the Anta logo very low key in the, in the back of the heel actually, like going vertically, which is pretty interesting. And then we, it looks like, it looks like a pretty nice like textile mesh material, but it's just a very simple design, which I do like, but I don't like the, the, the caging, right? But hopefully, Hopefully it's using a very soft mesh stroke, but, but like, you know, with the Zap one, it wasn't that caged and was using full length N2 foam and same thing with the Kai one. So I don't know why they caged it that much. And also it doesn't mean, it looks like it'll be like have really good core feel. It doesn't look that thick either. So uh, yeah, I don't understand the caging, but hopefully the caging is like soft, but it doesn't really look that soft, you know? So there is the GH5, right? The GH4 actually came out a long time ago. So I don't know why it take, took so long. Um, also, another thing that I want to talk about is the Cortez Book Ones, right? Uh, it's inspired by the Forrest Gumps. You know, if you guys have ever watched that movie, amazing movie. This colorway is so clean, guys. Look at that. That's, and you can hoop in it. It's a pretty nice hoop shoe. It's not amazing, but it's pretty nice. So, uh, just wanted to show you guys. So anyways, also another leak, we got the Zoom GT Hustle three, right? So of course we, it started off as a Zoom GT run, but then they changed it to the Zoom GT Hustle two, right? With the full length Zoom strobo unit, super lightweight, not the best for support, but overall it's an okay shoe. But now we got the third version, right? Finally, uh, I don't know why they're not releasing it at the same time. It just doesn't make sense, right? If you're gonna have a GT line, shouldn't you guys release like the hustle, the cut and also the jump, like kind of at the same time so it can go in order. I don't know, it just seems a little bit more organized to me, but yeah, as far as like how it looks, it looks really nice. It, it, it looks like they're bringing back Flyknit, which I love, you know what I mean? They they had Flyknit for a long time for in a lot of their sh like premium shoes, right? More expensive shoes. And they kind of like stopped for so long, right? I feel like it's been like what? five, six years since we've seen like actual find it. And they're kind of like bringing it back with the, the hustles, which I like. It looks really nice here in the toe box. It doesn't really look glued down either, uh, but it does look kind of thick. So we'll have to see on, about that. But the cushion does look pretty crazy. As far as the foam goes, uh, I'm not 100% sure. They haven't really said anything about well, what the foam is, um, but the, the four foot zoom, it doesn't really look that nice because I don't really like bottom loaded zoom units that much. I mean, it does add a, like a nice little trampoline effect, 
But in my personal opinion, I like to have a little bit more like cushion underneath my foot, you know, right underneath my foot for underfoot cushion. So like basically like a top loaded zoom in, you know? So not a huge fan of that, but we'll see. We'll have to see, you know? But I do like how it looks so far, right? And then next we do have another shoe from Converse. So this is the All-Star BB Shift CX. You guys remember the original All-Star BB Shift? That shoe was not that nice. I didn't really like that. Like the traction was terrible. The cushion was terrible. Even the support wasn't that good. You know, the overall design was great though. It looked amazing, but performance wasn't great. But holy cow, what is this? Okay, so it, like the heel looks pretty much the, the same as the original All-Star BB Shift, right? With that foam. But yeah, it also says air zoom in the forefoot. So it's probably using a forefoot zoom unit, but also it looks like it's using the same freaking outsole as the original All-Star BB Shift which did not have amazing traction from my experience, right? In my colorway. Also the upper with the wavy lines, I don't really like how that looks, but I guess lateral containment will be good. Looks like we got good lateral counters, but just don't like how this shoe looks. And uh, just from my experience with the original All-Star BB Shift and like the terrible traction and cushion, which it looks like they're kind of recycling in the shoe, I'm probably not gonna like it that much. So, uh, but yeah, that that has been leaked. So there's that. But also another colorway I, that I want to talk about is the, this colorway of the AE1. Looks freaking, it's like this cotton candy color. It looks so clean, guys. They need to release these. I will 100% cop, but it's a PE so, so far. So I don't know. We don't know if they're gonna release it, but it looks amazing. All right, next we got the Zoom Freak 6, guys. So it literally looks like the Zoom Freak 5. Like very, very similar. But one thing that does look very, very different though is the cushioning setup, right? So it does look like maybe they are using two different types of foams, right? So we can see like, like this wider foam in the middle of the kind of like middle of the midsole a little bit with these kind of like lines or stripes going through it. That maybe is a different foam. Maybe it's a dual density foam, maybe, right? And hopefully they're using like a softer strobe board. So like the foam is actually nice, but we, ha uh, we have no information on. We just have this leak, right? Also for the upper, it looks like, you know, it's a mesh. And then the swoosh is a very large swoosh and kind of dips down into the midsole. Uh, I, I don't know what it is with the honest, but he likes very big swooshes. Uh, but yeah, the overall like top of the shoe, especially with the eyelets and like the like where the lining is, the Zoom Freak 6 looks very similar to the Zoom Freak 5, right? So yeah, as far as like the tech goes, we don't have any specifics on that, but I'm very, very curious as to what the cushioning setup is going to be. Yeah, and also you can see a good amount of compression marks. So maybe, and also what is that kind of like, it kind of dips up as far as the midsole goes. It kind of like cups up into the upper, right? Here's the material and like the midsole kind of cups up, right? So that's pretty interesting for the design as well. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. Yeah, very, very curious actually. So there's a Zoom Freak 6. And then of course, finally we got the Jordan Luca 3s, right? So of course this uh, just released as far as like the Jordan brand officially unveiled it. And uh, it looks pretty dang good, honestly. Uh, it, uh, okay, so it looks kind of similar to the Luca 2. You know, it looked kind of like like that plastic piece in the midfoot, kind of. And also the Jumpman logo and the heel with like the, on the midsole does look very similar to uh, the Luca 2s, right? But it does look like a kind of like redesigned Luca 2 a little bit to me, you know? Uh, but yeah, as far as the Luca 3 goes, uh, so it's supposed to release on July 5th and uh, it's gonna retail for 130 bucks, which uh, that's a pretty good price, you know what I mean? Uh, but they are changing up the cushioning setup, which I don't know, I wanna be excited, but I don't wanna be let down, <laughs> you know what I mean? So for the Luca 1 and also Luca 2, they were using Formula 23 foam, but then they it was like a core, they, they the hella caged it. So it didn't have good compression, it wasn't soft. Uh, and also the strobe board for both of the shoes is extremely stiff, you know what I mean? They're using like the old school strobe board, you know what I mean? They gotta do something else, you know, because the cushioning setup is not very nice. But in the Luca 3s, they're using Kushlan 3.0 foam, which is pretty dang nice. You know what I mean? Kushlan 3.0, they're using in the book ones, which is very, very plush. However, in the book ones, they are caged. You know what I mean? On the lateral side, they are using like a stiffer type of like material. So uh, it, it it is a little stiffer on the lateral side, but on the medial side, it's actually softer, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we don't know yet uh, what they're gonna do with the cushioning setup. Like, is it caged? I don't know, 
know what I mean? Because it does look very similar to the Luka 2, so it might actually be like a Cushlon 3.0 like core, which I would be pretty disappointed in. Um, but in the midfoot area, look at that. Look at how caged it is, but on, on in the heel, it looks very exposed, you know what I mean? And also in the forefoot, it looks pretty exposed, but yeah, we do have, uh, they're calling it the ISO plate right? And uh, it says literally on their ISO plate. It's a cord out plate. So yeah, it acts as, you know, uh, kind of like a lateral counter on the lateral side for lateral containment and also as a midfoot shank plate, I believe, right? Apparently it's inspired by a car because Luca apparently really likes cars. And then also the outsole of the, the shoe is inspired by uh, a car's tire, which is pretty cool. We can see the Jumpman logo, kind of like where the ball of your foot is, but also it's like, it's weird. It's like, solid in some parts of the outsole and also translucent right and it kind of i guess exposes Ooh, yeah i'm not liking that i'm not liking that so you can see in the colorways like the foam is a different color right especially in this kind of like black and pink colorway so the foam is black right but then like where the the middle of the foam is like the pink part that's probably the cushion 3.0 it looks like it's a core uh, I don't know. I'm kind of sad uh, now that I just saw that. Like, I just noticed that I am a little, hopefully it's not a cord out and maybe it's just a different color. I don't know. Um, but we'll have to see on that. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to that that much, but then like, like, you know, the, the, the cage, like the, the foam around that is pretty stiff. And I, honestly, I wouldn't mind it all too much if they made the strobe board soft too. I mean, so you can feel the actual Cushlon 3.0 or, or the Formula 23 in like the Luka 2s and 1, you know what I mean? But they're, they're not, you know? So yeah, whole, yeah traction is probably going to be good. You know, the, it looks like a really thick rubber. Uh, so it'll probably be good for uh, durability, but we'll have to see on the rubber compound how good the bite is. But yeah, I, I'm a little bit disappointed in the, the cushioning setup now that I've seen it. Uh, but the upper does look pretty interesting. I do like how it has that kind of like ridge. You know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of like water ripples. It does look pretty cool, uh, but it does look like a pretty stiff shoe. Like I like like just like on foot, it looks pretty stiff. You know, Luca twos were extremely stiff. Luca ones not as much, but it's a very supportive shoe. You know what I mean? So hopefully the Luca three is like more like the Luca one. But like looking at it, it does look kind of stiff. So we'll have to see on how this upper is as well. You know, but aesthetically overall, I really do like how it looks so far, or like in like the official images, right? So tell us what you guys think of the Luca three down in the comment section below. Uh, and also, are you guys excited about the Zoom Freak six? And also, I really want the AE1 color, like the cotton candy colorway, to come out, right? Um, but anyways, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.